What is up, Bruins fans? Today I'm bringing you a clip from episode 359 of the Black Gold Hockey Podcast. Where host Sam Smith, Mark Allred, Dom Tiano, and myself discuss this year's Bruins development camp. Coming up next, uh, let's talk about development camp here. Uh, we have a few players highlighted that Mark wanted to chat about, and Mark, along with Jason Cook and Tom <laughs> Quaddy, were at were at the development camp at Warrior Ice Arena the past few days. So let's chat about a few of these players. First off. Recent draft pick, Jonathan Morello. What did you see out of Morello? How good did he look? Yeah, I mean, we talked about it earlier. He's got some good speed, good skill. Um, you know, it's just it's a work in progress. Um, raw talent, as many would say. Um, a solid pick. And I like what I saw out in the ice. Uh, very engaged. Um, you know, when he needed advice, uh, you know, uh, Adam McQuaid was close by or, or any of the other supporting c- coaching staff that was out in the uh, ice all week. Um, development camp was a four day, uh, um, event this year held at the warrior ice arena. Um, and yeah, I mean, I thought it was, uh, I thought he, he did good along with, uh, several other prospects. Um, uh, this was a much better development camp that I, than I anticipated because of the fact is that we were kind of wondering if we were going to get back into the first round or not, but I think that they, the players that were invited, uh, did a decent job and, um, you know, put a good show on for the fans that were in attendance. Speaking of the first round, Dean Letourneau, this year's first round pick. We discussed him earlier. How good did he look in in the uh, in development camp? Is there any uh, is there any still big any problems with him, or did he have a, overall a good development camp? I, I want to say Oscar Yelvik uh, got, <laughs> put him over his ass um, and hit him pretty hard and knocked him right off. Um, so there's there's some things that he needs to work on. Uh, you know, he's a young kid. Uh, coming into camp uh, for the first time um, in, in Boston, pretty much for the first time. So there's a lot of work, things that he could work on too. And, and stability, agility, and, and strength uh, is one of the biggest things that I noticed. But if you look besides all of that, when he does have the puck, he's very creative for a big man. Uh, and he has this really decent shot. And he, you know, he really leans into a, a wrister. It puts a lot of that weight behind him to get off a, a really good shot. Yeah. Uh, Jackson Edward, you highlighted him. Drafted in 2022. Looks like he'll be with either Maine or Providence next year. What's Jackson Edward? How did, how did he do? Uh, just an, another skilled defenseman that is a nasty guy to play against. It doesn't matter if it's a regular season or playoff game or development camp. This guy brings it every, every time he's out on the ice. Um, he, there's no friend when he steps on the ice and, and then an opposing come opposing player comes at him. Um, just, just a nasty guy. And Adam McQuaid talked about him a lot this week about how much more, how much he's getting better and his track is getting, you know, a lot better than what they thought it would be. Absolutely. Riley Duran, 2020 draft pick. What's Riley Duran looking like? How'd he do? Speedster, mm-hmm. uh, great release, um, really engaged as one of the um, guys that has been around for a couple of years in development camp now. Um, so, you know, younger players or even invites that come in um, can lean on a player like him. Um, split this, not split the season, but you know, played at Providence College and then seven games in the American Hockey League. Um, and uh, Ryan Mujanel and uh, Adam McQuaid, they all spoke very highly of him about his track and, and his development curve is going in the in the very good uh, right direction. Um, you know, some are calling dark horses for, for him to be uh, an NHL player very soon. So lots of good things from Riley Duran. And I think he's going to be a really good player uh, with a full season under um, in the American Hockey League with the Providence Bruins next season. Hopefully we get to see some a glimpse of that. Hopefully in the preseason, Oscar Jelvik, how did he do? Yeah, probably one of the best players out of camp, uh, in my opinion. And and from reading several other articles and several other media members that were uh, alongside uh, Tom and Jason and myself uh, this week, um, he just really stood out. His offensive capabilities, his speed, his edge work, um, agility. He's he's he's. He's another one that's like really on the right curve of his development. Going back to BC, uh, going to play with uh, Letourneau and Gasau. Uh, so 
and I'm not pro, not sure if it's going to be on the same line due to left shot, right shot, but they'll be on the same uh, team and uh, moving forward together. So that's uh, something to look forward to at Boston College next year. Yeah, so we had some feet on the ground, obviously, as you were saying. We were we had Jason Cook, Tom Kaladi, and yourself, Mark, and you took a lot of footage for us, and you'll be posting some of that footage later in the week. You mentioned earlier before we went live uh, some scrimmages and some stuff like that. Yeah, so uh, yesterday was July 4th, uh, as and today is the 5th as we record this. So um, I'm having a little bit of uh, computer problems, technical issues, as, uh, as Boston Gamer would say, our boy Kevin. Um, but I am going to be releasing pretty soon. We, we are going to be releasing pretty soon and, uh, about a 20 minute video of the, of the full scrimmage. And, and later on, we're going to be releasing some three on three short ice um, tournament is four games that they played. So I, I that's about 30 minutes that people can see how these players do uh, in shorter areas and uh, and how nasty they are to each other, even though it's development camp. And that nobody takes a break. Like what you saw? Be sure to come back next week for episode 360 of the Black and Gold Hockey Podcast, where hosts Sam Smith, Mark Allred, and Dom Tiano discuss the latest rumors and updates on Bruins, free agency, and the world of Boston. See you then.